here with Miss Sally Plass, and she does etiquette enrichment classes. But she's going to give us some tips on Christmas, and actually any any time of the year when it comes to gift giving and stuff. Now, Sally, one of the things is, you know, we don't, we don't give a lot of thank you notes anymore, and which I think that's very important. How important is that at Christmas time? Well, it's really really important, especially if someone has given you a especially uh, maybe a handmade gift or a gift that has really uh, carried a lot of thought with it. Most people at Christmas time, it seems they put a lot more thought into what they're giving to you right. um, and for it to fit your personality, for it to be a special gift for you. But particularly, particularly if it's from someone that would really appreciate you honoring them with that thank you note. If they've made you a special handmade gift, they right. put time and thought into it, or even even not a hand, handmade gift, it can be something bought, but something that you know they have put a lot of thought into. It's particularly for you. That's the best way to honor someone, for thinking of you, even if you don't like it. Oh, that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't like the gift they've given you. Yes. You know, sometimes we get gifts that maybe yeah, it's not our favorite color, or mm -hmm. it's something that's not really... Our, our taste. Yes. Or doesn't fit, maybe. Or right. It just doesn't fit into your lifestyle. But they have still chosen to take that time yes. and effort to bring you a gift of some kind. Whether you like it or not, you need to show appreciation. Yes. They have thought of you, no matter what the gift is. Right. Yes. It, and it, they could have not gotten you anything at all. Yes. That would have been even worse. So. Yes, yes, yes. But, but particularly, if it's something like maybe... Grandma made you that special quilt or a really thoughtful, sentimental memento for something, right. you need to honor that and appreciate it. And a thank you note is the very best way. There is no other, no other thank you that is no. as good as a handwritten right. thank you note. Right. And don't ever use the excuse that, well, I, I don't have those thank you cards or I can't afford it or... I don't, I don't know you what to You can make send. one. You can you make, make one. one. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You can make one. Or, you know what? The dollar store has packages right. of thank you notes. Right. Eight for a dollar or ten for a dollar, whatever. There's, there's no excuse, mm -hmm. actually. No excuse for not doing it. Oh, goodness. Well, you remember that. Make sure you get the thank you <laughs> cards out. And uh, yes. That's in a timely manner, too. Now, yes. sometimes you think, well, I'll send it later. Yes. Later's not better. Later is not better, although... It is never too late right. to send a thank you note. Now, in, in for instance, um, for the Christmas gifts, you need to really try your best to have them sent within maybe about three to four days. Right. The reason why is if you send it sooner, then it's fresher on your mind. You can relate the emotion that you felt when you opened the gift. You can... Uh, relate what was happening, what was going right. on that day better before you forget. Yes. Yes. But if you do need to wait a few more days or whatever with the, you know, the uh, hubbub of the holiday season, oh, goodness. you could um, wait a few more days, but really, really, really try to do it before New Year's. Well, well when really it's the try. New Year, now, it's, yes. now you're on to another year. Yes. And other events. Yes. So, yes, it, yes. It means more if it comes the year that it happened. Yes, I, I would agree. <laughs> now, you know, one of the exceptions to that is particularly maybe for wedding gifts where you have received a lot of gifts. You have a little more time for that right. situation. But we're talking about Christmas and the holidays today. I love the holidays and I love Christmas. Now, there is um, a little exception. If you know someone really well and you see them on an everyday basis, Maybe you live with them or right. you're around them a lot. You, if they are with you when you open the gift, you could give a heartfelt thank you at that time. Oh, definitely. And you should. Yes, that, you should yes. do that anyway. Yes. And if it's someone really, really, really close to you, you, and maybe you didn't get to open it in front of them, you might send an email. But there is no, no, no exception, nothing any better than a handwritten note. We all appreciate that. Right. It just shows that you're honoring that person for 
for the gift and the thought they put into it. Well, I think you. we lose sight of respect. And yes, yes. A, you know, if you don't do that, then mm -hmm. what did you really think? Yes, I agree. And I think the thank you cards are important. And if it's a really particularly sentimental gift, like I said, you better write something. I don't care if you do live with your grandma. Right. And you see her every day. She would probably really treasure that. And put that in her special box or whatever of keepsakes. <laughs> yeah, I'd say she probably would. <laughs> yes, yes. So, and and so now we're going to go on to re-gifting. Now this one, <laughs> this one is very important, people. Yes, and controversial. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but we've all done it. We've all done it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've all done it, but have we done it the right way? Which mm -hmm. uh, Sally and I don't think you should re-gift. No, uh, that's no, no. Just, we don't we don't think we should do that mm -hmm. um, but if you do re-gift <laughs> what are some of the things we need to keep in mind yes when we re-gift <laughs> well <laughs> particularly the the old-fashioned answer was always no but in the past in the you know in our olden days I always say that was usually that gift was always something that they had made for you right it was a, they didn't just run out to the store and grab something it was a really particular gift for you, meant for you. And so if you re-gifted it, then, whoa, you were really um, slamming them. Right. Or, you know, being um, re very disrespectful. But then, uh, if in some cases where the gift could benefit someone else, possibly, um, and there are some really good rules to follow, you better make sure it's not within your same circle of friends or the same circle of people. That's a big one, yeah. Yes. That might, you know, there are occasions where you could accidentally give the gift even back to the same person who gave it in the first place. Right. So then also if the gift is um, particularly for you, something kind of personalized. Personalized, yes, yes, right. where it would be recognizable that there's, there's no way this gift was meant for me. Right. Then prob probably they re-gifted it. The other thing is the, um, the uh, oh, my brain just went blank. Um, it, you better make sure it's still in the same original package. You better make sure that you have searched through all of the paper and the saran, you know, not saran wrap, but the wrapping and all that. Right. To make sure there is not a gift card inside there. And I have a story. For a really good friend of mine, <laughs> this really truly happened. She had received. She had recently gotten married. She had received like several of the same thing. Right. And so then her cousin was getting married very soon. So she. This is something that she would have actually given to her cousin anyway and yes. gone and purchased. Right. So instead of her returning the multiple items, she chose one of them to give to her cousin for a wedding gift. She thought she had checked through all the paper and the packing very carefully. She wrapped it. It was beautiful, new, the same original, you know, uh, box and everything. Right. But there was a gift card that had been placed all the way inside where she didn't notice. And her cousin opens the present at her wedding reception and reads this wrong card. She had a heart attack. She, and still, this was like 10 years ago. She still is mortified over that. So I'm saying that's why if you are going to re-gift, you better be very, very careful. <laughs> it would be awful. <laughs> it would be awful. I, I, was, I was sympathizing with her. Right. Well, I've, I've had some people, you know, they get a gift. I have a, a sister-in-law that wears very small earrings. Mm. And Grandma gave long earrings to mm -hmm. her. Well, as soon as she opened them, the grandmother knew that, okay, she may not keep those. Well, what she did was, she said, oh, Granny, she said, I love these. She said, but you know they're going to touch my shoulder. She says, what if we just give them to Debbie? Oh. So she straight out just, you know, instantly yes. Yes. said, I love them, but. Yes. And which, she's very tiny. Yes. And so Granny said, well, yeah, you're right. Said, give them. She, mm -hmm. She's got a long she neck. Give them to her. And so she was great with it. Yes. But you, you have to know the person, too. Yes. You have to be honest about it. If you do get caught just like that, like, yes. like your cousin, she said, you know, these would hit my shoulders, and she was thinking of you. Now, if you do re-gift, and which 
we probably all will, if you give that gift to the other person because it would be perfect for them, and you are honest about it, and you say, look, yes. I, I have these earrings, they're too long, I love them, but I know they would look beautiful on you. Right. Do that, be honest about that. But the, the situation where you try to give them as, oh, here, I've been shopping <laughs> for you, and I've splurged, I've spent all this money, i got these beautiful yeah. earrings. No. No, because no. they'll find out somehow. Yes, yes exactly. You know. Somehow, accidentally, or whatever. And so then you have... Right hurt their feelings oh yeah because you didn't think about going to shop for them you're on your own right or maybe sometimes people feel like if you're regifting that you're devaluing that gift I think a lot of people do feel that way mm -hmm. you know if they, if they get a re something that's been regifted mm -hmm. and that you, you didn't, didn't care, care or think yeah but the other point is if you are tempted to regift you might not want to do it possibly for their Christmas present or their 25th anniversary present, something really <laughs> special or right. big, you might just give it to them at another time. Right. Just as a random gift. And you can't, yeah. And you just say, I, I thought maybe you could need this I, right. or use this. I, I heard you say you didn't have a can opener. Right. Here, I got five can openers for my wedding gifts. And please, could would you love to, you know? Would you like to have one of these? Well, parties? then they feel special. Yes. When yes. you when you tell the story, they yes. feel special because you thought of them. But when yes. you when you re-gift it mm -hmm. and don't say anything, somehow or other that just takes away from the whole thought. I think. Yes. Yes. But I so, think it it can be okay. Yeah. And when you know someone can benefit from your sharing, mm -hmm. there's another option too, if you maybe you can't return it or you can't change the size or whatever maybe you could use it for a charitable organization oh, to yeah. donate in that yes. way mm -hmm. because you know someone somewhere could possibly use that and they're going to love it that they yes. found it and they and it would be helpful mm -hmm. it would be helpful yeah. in their situation so that's those are the reasons why i would say possibly you could re-gift but ordinarily the bottom line is no put some thought into your gift and make it special for right. that person right now th this when we're talking about regifting and all that we're not just talking about christmas mm -hmm. and at our homes yes. you've got company dinners you've got um, birthdays anniversaries those type mm -hmm. of things sally's talking about every type yeah. of gifting yes. you know it you really have to keep that in mind well one to make sure you still have friends at the end of the year <laughs> You know, <laughs> yes, 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 and and please don't regift anything that's like a food item. Yeah, like they made you a jar of jelly, or they made you a big plate of brownies, or whatever. Right. Uh, that's kind of yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's not something you would have normally ever done. If I gave my friend a jar of jelly, they would know it was not from <laughs> me because they know I'm not that wet. You know, right. I'm like that kind of a cook or. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They would know I was lying. <laughs> right. Well, is there anything else we need to cover about regifting during during any event or any time of the year? Or? Well, basically, if you're in doubt about it, just don't, don't, don't even do it. do it. Just don't. Just yeah. stop. Just make the time to go out and get that special gift for right. that special person. You want to honor them yes. and show them that it's a treat. It's a, something that you've thought of that you're caring about them. And I think that's neat when you say honor them because we've over the last couple of weeks we've had several conversations about how to honor people mm -hmm. whether it's turn off your cell phone when you're having a conversation yes. and going to lunch or whether it's picking out a gift now we're not talking about expensive gifts no 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 it doesn't have to be expensive. any gift it can any be gift. it can be three dollars yes. or more you know but it's the fact that you went and looked at it and you chose their favorite color yes. or you chose their favorite style mm -hmm. something yes. that makes it it's unique the thought for behind the gift that counts yes. Yeah. And anymore, a lot of people are requesting money gifts, and even my own children, yes. they are in situations where they would really be appreciative of a money gift. And that's okay, too. That's, right. that's okay. But if you send that money gift or you receive a money gift, you need to write that thank you note. <laughs> yes, that's, that's kind of big because I tell you, I'm, I'm a shopper mm -hmm. and I like bargains. So like after Christmas, yes. I go start looking for Christmas gifts. <laughs> and and I, I shouldn't tell it. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to tell who I gave this if, to. If I get one of these gifts, then I'm going to know what you're You'll never up know. to. No. You'll never know. <laughs> but after Christmas, like two, three weeks afterwards, things are really on sale. Yes. There was a $75 sweater that I wanted to buy somebody. 
and I would not spend the money on this. Mm -hmm. 75 to me, it's just, I wouldn't spend it on myself, so. That was a lot. I kept watching this sweater, and as it went down, and it went down, mm -hmm. and we did, I walked in the store one day, and it was $2. $2. Whoa. Buddy, I, yes. I got that sweater, and I yes. paid for it, took it home, and wrapped it up, yes. and that person got it. They yeah, thought it was Christmas. a $75 sweater. Exactly. It, it was awesome. But that, but I had watched that sweater from the time yes. it was 70 but you know, so it doesn't matter How about the amount. No, no, no. It's you the know, thought. You yes. had thought. You put thought into that. You knew that sweater oh, would work as it was a gift beautiful. for that person. You wanted it. You yeah. knew it. she would like it. Now the funny thing is, they asked me, they said, now, Debbie, I know you buy things on sale all the time. How much was this one? And I said, well, I can't tell you this one. This is one time I can't tell you what I spent. And so I didn't, I didn't tell, but they would have been okay if I'd told them, or, you know, yes. I had to. But I think you just, you know, if you don't have a lot of money, you don't have mm -hmm. to buy things right now. Mm -hmm. Start shopping during the yes. year. And sometimes if it's someone that I know really well and they could appreciate the fact that I found it on sale like that, they would be thrilled oh, yeah. and even happier. I usually, they would probably be sad if I had spent $75. Oh, yeah, this person would have would have had a heart attack yes. because they would have been afraid they'd mess it up by wearing it or spill yes. something on it. Yes. But, but knowing you got it for a <laughs> really good deal, that's even better. Yeah, they knew I got it done a good deal because they cool. know me. I yes. go after Christmas and buy a lot of gifts mm -hmm. for the next year. Mm -hmm. But this was just one time I couldn't tell it. But I like that too. Yeah, I like so. that too. So I think the b bottom line is to show respect to the person who sent you the gift, no matter whether you like it or not, or whether you will use it or not. And then on the regifting, if you're in doubt, don't do it. Don't do it at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but be very, very careful if you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, Sally's always got good suggestions for us, and I really appreciate you coming and talking Thank to us you. about this. It's so much fun, and happy holidays to everyone. Well, I'm Debbie Crawford with Bridging the Gap, and as always, we thank you for watching.